Hi bookworms and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is London. Um, I'm in a little bit of a different spot right now. I'm out on my dock and um, I thought it was fitting because today we are going to be reading a new book and it's called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. So I am all out here by my lonesome about to read this um, scary book. So wish me luck. Also, please excuse the situation of the stars. I'm having a breakout. Let's get reading. Page seven. What? What? because there was a plot twist and then I started hearing gunshot noises. Um, I live out in the country and people just shoot guns like all the time. So um, yeah, I was not in the mood to read the plot twist and then also hear gunshots. So I came inside, it was a little too surreal for me. The setting of the book takes place in like a lake and I have a pond and it was just too similar. So I had to come in. So yeah, now here we are. I'm probably just gonna keep on reading in my um, room. I'm gonna close my blinds. And yeah, I will update you guys if anything interesting happens. Alrighty guys, it is the next day. I read it a little bit last night. I honestly couldn't put it down. I read 180 pages yesterday. Um, this book has a total of 369 pages. Um, so I would say I'm about halfway done. This book has been incredible. Um, I literally can't put it down. There has been so many twists already. I am so impressed with the writing and I love it so much. But I do want to continue reading Down by the Water because it's just like an experience. So we're going to go head back down to my pond and keep on reading The House Across the Lake. Okay, so I just found out it's not the person I was thinking it was for like 200 pages. Um, so another plot twist on page 219. <laughs> oh my god, I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. Okay, so I have to actually go to work. I have a good 60, 70 pages left. Okay, so I never actually closed out this video. Um, and I was going through my iMovies and I was like, oh, I love this video, why didn't I post it? I didn't give you guys my review. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, at the time, I posted on Goodreads that it was a five star. And after a couple of months to think about that, I've decided to give it four stars. Um, whenever I went back to like my thoughts on the book, I do remember there being like so many plot twists and it was just a little bit much for me. It kind of felt like the author was trying too hard to make you not know like what was going to happen. 
and I mean like the story was good it was entertaining but I feel like if I had to if I had to categorize a five-star book it would have been The Silent Patient and The Silent Patient like had like two plot twists and that was it now this book had like six so I just feel like it was a little bit overdone I really like the story. Like I said, it's very unpredictable. It scared me, but uh, yeah, I, I think four stars is a is a good rating for that book. It was very entertaining. It was actually a pretty long book too. I guess it was almost 400 pages, so it wasn't that long, but it seemed long at the time, maybe because there were so many plot twists. But yeah, I would recommend the book. I just would probably recommend The Silent Patient over The House Across the Lake. So anyway, that is my review for The House Across the Lake. Go check it out if you're in the mood for a thriller. But that is going to be all for today's video. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching up to this point. And if you did, comment um, the dinosaur emoji. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!